Sup guys, today I'm gonna start tuning a car again and start from the part. Yep, using this part and then the motor as well, the gear. Okay, stay tuned, guys. You wait and see what four wheel drive mini I'm gonna use. All right. So, the four-wheel drive that I'm gonna tune up is this. Since that plenty others doing it, well, may as well I'm doing it as well then. Right? So, we start unbox it again. Well, you know what it is inside. You already seen the other video. Well, the thing is, I'm gonna assemble it then. Because you already got the wheel, right? Chassis. Mill, motor, black body, it's alright. Alright, let's start assemble. Alright, what do you do is put on all the wheel, gear, all the pet sets of bearings, gap, everything inside first. Alright, I'm using the orange forest car one. Okay. Because the thing is, uh, it's really match the basic tunes parts. So this is the original part. You didn't use it, right? For the wheels. And then let's continue for the front bumper. Later on, we screw it. Or we can do the terminal first. All right? Okay. Let's continue. I think we're gonna do the terminal first. This one. Screw it over there like that. And then for the motor as well, just get prepared using a black gear. Then put on the pinion, the steel pinion to the motor. All right. Okay, let's continue. Yes, finally put it on the steel pinion. All right, then. Then we put on the, the clip for the motor inside. Put it inside. Easy as well. Click this one inside as well. Make it easier. Yeah. You won't budge this time. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Before we close things up, you know what to do. Well, you need to put some grease on. Alright then. We put it. A bit all oh, is splash somewhere. <laughs> mm. Okay, that's good enough, I think. <laughs> okay, now we close it down. Everything. Okay, by starting from this. Okay, let me close. Front lid is your get it perfect way. I think this one goes here. No. Okay. Okay. All right. Why don't we give it a test? Screw in the battery. Okay, you back. Right. Here comes the battery. Let's try to turn it on first without any tires. <laughs> so we set the clip first. I think this one must go. Hey. No, the other way around, of course. Yes, that's the correct one. Okay. Hey, doesn't turn on. Going on. Hold on, let me check. Okay, sorry for the budge thing. Well, the thing is, the motor for the terminal hasn't attached for this 
panel yet. So I fixed it. Now it's turned on already. Wow. The sound of the motor. Which is good. I think we rather use the power desk instead of using a light desk. You know, they come up from the other tune. You know, the advanced tune pack. Neo Vanquish. Well, alright. Let's continue. So next thing we screw the front bumper, just like that. Hopefully I'm not mistaken. Well, because the thing is I didn't read any manual book, so we just do it manually. No, automatically. <laughs> Alright then. Okay. Alright. Okay. Just give you an info. For the basic tune, I exchanged the position for the screw. See, this one have to go over here, right? Before, at the back, I show you at the previous one, I put it over here. Huh. So you may as well just put it up here. Alright. Okay. Let's continue to the back bumper. Alright. This is the position for the back bumper. I used the original bumper as well. Put it under the basic tune bumper. Because it's uh, to prevent um, when you have a collision or other things is just preventing you get easy get broke all right so may as well just put it on just in case all right okay right now we put on all the pin in front on the bearing the back then we'll see what's after that all right you grab the screw the 2.25 with the spring washer then you put in the front this side All right and then you grab the roller stop okay. this comes up from here okay just put it there under it just sprinkle it Make it easier. Alright, roller stopper. Okay. And then voila. And then a washer. And then screw them with a the nut. Just twist it like that with your finger. Yes. Do it manually and just twist it this way. Alright. Okay. Okay. Then you put the space. So Then grab the stabilizer ball. This thing, right? Use that one, another one. Okay. All right. Push okay. it and just put it on. Alright, then you can do the left hand side. Alright, after you done the bolt of the stabilizer, everything in front like that, the position, and you give it a test. Well, now we do at the back one. Alright, the back one is using the screw that size 2.35. This long. Okay, so. What you have to do is grab the washer inside and then roll 
and then the roll stop then space and then spring washer smaller then what you have to do is put it stuck in there like that okay all right okay and then put it on top of it spacer Another spacer, <laughs> right? Roller stopper, roller, and then washer. Oh, it drops somewhere. <laughs> okay, get another one. Washer. Actually, don't drop anymore. Then you tighten it up with the nut. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Oh, this one is a bit hard. Oh, see, told you, fall down again. All right, then let me get this thing proper. Okay, be back to you. Before we continue, I take it off the whole bumper at the back. Because the thing is, when you screw down the basic tune, the bearing, see? That's there. So do you only need to use this back bumper? So I just take it off and just use this one instead. Alright? Okay, yeah. This is the back bumper, what it looks like. But the thing is, you need to think over how you put the brake on. I think you can put the brake over here. But for today edition, I'm not going to put the brake on. Probably later. Alright. So, I'm going to do the basic tune first. Then, it's already finished like that. The look. Well, I don't know what you guys think. But this is the basic tune. Later on, we try and extract if it is not go off the track right now we go for the body and later on we put on the weight at behind all right then so put on the body well looks all right basic tune yeah. we just need to try in the track but we missed out the weight first and the side tempo Thing. I'm gonna put it later since I didn't have the proper tools for it but I do have the proper tempo in the FN spec that I unboxed it before if you see my previous video I haven't assembled it yet because I'm waiting for the special moment I'm just assemble this one first all right using a basic tune okay then we continue to the weight at the back so for the weight at the back, you put the 2.25 screw with the spring washer, okay, and then you screw it under this hole. Yep, and then you put the nut, screw the nut inside. Yeah. Yeah, to get there. Then tie them up. Okay. All right. Then we put the weight to it at the back. Then stabilize the ball. Well, for the stabilizer ball, just put it inside. 
uh, make it easier. Well, not too tight. Alright, then move on to the next part. Doing the same thing again. Alright. Grab the screw, the washer, put it under here. a bit no. okay it's in it's in but it's so hard to scroll it down <laughs> all right I'm uh, finally there all right mm. okay okay Okay, I think it's done. And you put the weight as well again, the same position. And then the stabilizer heads inside. Ah! Okay, always came off. Not I think. Why you don't want to get in? Why? Well, let's get in after that. Then you grab the grapple again. I think you need to have the screw inside as well. Make it easier. Yeah. Alright. Okay. There you have it guys, I think I need to tighten this one up first, maybe it's just ruin everything. Mm -hmm. There we go, it's finished. What do you guys think? Well, we need to just test it in the truck, won't we? Alright. Give the thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thanks for watching guys.